You are the axis of evil. You are the nexus of necrosis. You are a rotting lump of pure wrong. No you are use. the dark part of all that is unholy in this land, a black hole of wrong headedness from which no light, well, no strength, no discipline can escape. But I am a match for you, madam. In me, you have met the Avenger. Just it's clear to all that is right that I tell you there is nothing I shall not do. No light, no strength, no punishment that I shall not no ears that I shall not no drink, I shall not snap back to defeat you. Yes, I defeat you in exaltation, madam. Do you hear? Are you listening? Are you listening, madam? <laughs> How'd that feel? That was, um, it, it felt uh, different. It looked different. <laughs> How did you do that? That wasn't me. It was you. Oh no, no, I, I, I couldn't have done that. Believe me, I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Okay. You are the axis of it. See, I told you, I can't do it. You can, you just need to be enraged. Yeah, well, apparently nobody can enrage me but you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, no, I, I, I can't do it. <laughs> it's okay, but I think you're wrong. But you need to figure out how to access this because you can't be expecting me to wait backstage to make fun of you every scene. I know. But it's a start. Okay, we'll work with harnessing emotions from the outside first. Until then, come to rehearsal 15 minutes early and uh, I'll play you exactly how much you suck. <laughs> you do that? It's what directors are for. <laughs> die like fire and powder, which as they kiss consume. And the sweetest honey is loathsome in its own deliciousness. And in... Um, the sweetest honey is loathsome in its own deliciousness. <coughs> the sweetest honey is loathsome in its own deliciousness. Is the triumph like fire and powder, which is the kiss consumed. The sweetest honey is loathsome in its own deliciousness. And in that taste confounds the appetite. Therefore, love moderately. Long love doth so. Too swift arrives as tardy as too slow. So down below. Hey. Hey. Uh, here comes the lady. Oh, so light a foot will ne'er wear out the everlasting flint. A lover may bestride a gossamer that idles in the wanton summer air and yet not fall. So light is vanity. Good even to my ghostly confessor. Uh, Romeo shall thank thee, daughter, for us both. As much to him, else is his thanks too much. Oh, <laughs> well done. Thanks, you sound pretty good yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, Miss B asked me to come and help you guys out a little bit today. Yeah. What's the status on our Romeo? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure, actually. The email said 10.30, so we can probably expect him around noon. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, so, how was your break? You went up to see your grandparents in Cincinnati, right? Yeah, from memory. Thanks. Um, so how was it? It was pretty good, I guess. Uh, it was nice seeing everybody up there. It was pretty cold, though. Oh, bad. Did you get any snow? Yeah, a couple flurries. Nothing to get too excited about. Did we get any here? Oh, um, I, I'm not sure, actually. I uh, went to see my extended family in Montvier. That's right, I knew that. How was it? It was fun, I guess. You guess? Yeah, um, okay, so you know how my sister just got married? You so, have a sister? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
a sister and three brothers, all older and all married. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, uh, so anyway, uh, in light of my sister's marriage, my family thought it'd be fun to spend the whole trip pestering me about not having a girlfriend, and trying to set me up with their neighbor's daughters, and uh, in my Aunt Jackie's case, her neighbor's son. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it got old pretty fast. It's like, it's like no matter how much I try to explain it to them, they just can't grasp the concept that I'm not interested in anyone else. In anyone else? <laughs> I mean, in anyone. No, you said anyone else, as in there's someone now. No, no, uh, what I said was actually, I, I meant something closer Does the fire to... Does have a two man of his own? I, I, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Why not? Because the friar doesn't get Juliet. Romeo does. Come on, give yourself more credit than that. You could be a Romeo. You think so? I know so. You're smart, you're funny, you're talented, and it sounds like you really like this girl. I, I do. Well, that's the most important thing. A girl just wants to be swept off her feet. You think so? Yeah, I think you should tell her. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Utter rejection, which is <laughs> the result from his humiliation and despair. It's not gonna happen. What if it does? What if she starts to feel uncomfortable and then doesn't want to hang out anymore and I could lose her forever and I, I don't want to do that to her. But Juliet doesn't regret it. Huh? Romeo ruined Juliet's life. Heck, Romeo ended her life. Because of him, a young girl died when she was just a teenager. And for what, a couple days with a boy she barely knew? But you know what, I think Juliet would make that same choice time and time again because love is worth it. So what about you? What about me? Uh, do you have a secret Romeo in mind? Oh no, if you don't have to spill, then neither do I. So there is someone? I didn't say that. So there's not? Saints' hands and holy palmers, lips and holy palmers too. I hope that they must use in prayer. Then, dear saint, the lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not, dear saint, while my prayers affect thy faith. Thus, from my lips by yours, my sin is purged. Uh, then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from thy lips, O oh, trespass, sweetly urged. Give me my sin again. Did you like? Uh, you kissed by the book. And then the nurse comes in. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> good? Uh, yeah, good job. Um, do you know what it is you're saying? Um, 
Well, I've read through it three or four times. Mm -hmm. Spark notes help a lot. <laughs> uh, but not really. No. Okay, um, okay. Um, so at the beginning, uh, you're talking about how beautiful Juliet is and how you are unworthy even to touch her. <laughs> yeah, um. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so Juliet is hot. Yeah. Um, sure, I guess. Uh, he goes on to say that though his hands are not worthy to touch her face, he may come first with a tender kiss. All right, so Romeo's a player. <laughs> but Juliet rejects his offer. Juliet's not brave to kiss him herself, but she says she won't move. And so Romeo takes the opportunity. He kisses her? Yeah. Yeah. All right! <laughs> <laughs> and then she wants some more, right? Well, actually... Yeah, she does. She says that by the kiss, Romeo's sin was transferred to her lips, to which Romeo replies... Give me my sin again! <laughs> <laughs> but then you kiss by the book, like, what does that one mean? Oh, I, no, is she saying it's boring? Or? It's a compliment, as in you must have studied to get that good. Yeah, I'm sure he's had lots of practice. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like we got that one down pretty well. Uh, do you guys want to move on, or maybe rehearse a little more? Have you, 